Welcome to a new Whiskey, Games, and Nerd Stuff. Today's whiskey is... It's a Midwinter Nights Dram um, High West Distillery based out of Park City, Utah. Good stuff. And today's Nerd Stuff is going to be BB's Corner. We're going to go through just a small portion of the thousands and thousands of comics that he has. But until then, let's first get us a pour. All right, so let's go ahead and take a sip. Mmm. You can never go wrong with anything from High West, especially with the Midwinter Night's Drum. And you know BB is a much more experienced and whiskey drinker than I am, because he already has the dropper ready to go. Ready to go. Here's so time. for those that, that don't know, anytime you add ice or water to the whiskey, it does open up the flavors. Yeah. So a trick that you should always do with any new whiskey is drink it neat. Do it with a drop of water. And then put some ice in it, and then you'll have a better understanding of what you like. And each and every whiskey will have a different uh, palate depending on how you do it. So I would highly recommend that any additional whiskey, new whiskey you get, try it the three ways. Neat, with a little bit of water, or some ice. And then some people will do the ice cube trick where you put a fork over your glass and put an ice cube on the fork, and it'll melt a couple drops at a time. Any thoughts on the flavor with additional water on that one, BB? Uh, I mean, you're right. It opens up the flavor, but the other thing that opens up the flavor is you swish it, right? Just like a wine, you open up the flavor. These glasses are specifically made, so you can actually roll them on the table like that. Um, it just opens up flavors. So Midwinter Night's Dram is always a limited edition by High West. It comes out um, in the winter time, right around Christmas, the holidays, Thanksgiving. Um, it sells out immediately, so you have to be on top of your game to get it. Um, it's a good whiskey. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move the whiskey off to the side because I have a feeling we'll knock it over when we open this yeah. box. And BB has a great unboxing for us. It was something that he reached out to me for and said, hey, this is something I think it would be cool for the channel. So we're going to go ahead and open up the box here in a second. All right, so these books, <laughs> these books are special books. Um, almost once in a lifetime books, in my opinion, early, early, and I say that in quotes, early Batman books are, uh, can be difficult to run across, but the LCS I go to and Sugar House, Utah, Black Cat Comics, um, I'm friends with the owner and, uh, he got these in and, uh, let me know. So I think you guys will be pretty happy with this. Or at least find it interesting if you're a Batman fan. And if you're not, and you're a comic book fan... You shouldn't you... be watching this. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll still like it because it's, it's cool as shit. Um, Alright, so right off the bat, these are from CGC. You can see they really uh, take care of their stuff there. And I haven't opened this before. So, let's pull it out. They're wrapped very well the bubble wrap the thing you have to watch out for with CGC is sometimes they're not the best at actually securing this stuff so it's always nice to double check so this is a Batman 232 um, which is the first appearance of Raja Ghoul uh, who those of you that don't know comics probably have seen Batman Begins as Liam Neeson in Batman Begins. So we have a Batman 232, first appearance of Raja al Ghul. And then we have a Batman 234, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. Um, both pretty pretty big books. Um, not, not cheap. Um, when uh, the owner of Black Cat uh, had these... Like, he said these were the highest grades he'd ever seen. And so I immediately bought them and then sent them in to get graded, which I don't normally do. But um, you can see I do have graded books here. I make it a point not to typically grade books um, unless I feel like there's going to be some good value in the future um, as an investment. So right off the bat, looks like we got Batman 234 right here. So here's the back, and I can see the grade already, which is blowing my mind, actually. 
This is a 9.6. I mean, a 9.6 on a book from 1971. Um, just an amazing condition. Holy crap. I Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal. I would say that anybody who wants to know how rare that is, check out the population count. Yeah, you can check out the population count, and you'll see exactly how many 9.6s there are. I'm going to look at that for sure. There can't be too many. But first Silver Age appearance of, of Two-Face. This, this is a big book in a huge grade. Wow. I did Honestly, I did not expect a 9.6 on this book. That's phenomenal. Um, what an amazing grade. I think that 9.6 deserves a little cheer. Yeah, cheers. Mm. Oh, that's a good whiskey, though. It definitely is. The more, what I like about mm. the High West, especially the midwinter nights, the longer it sits there, I figure uh, you, you, you can tell, tell a different fla flavor. It's a good, it's a good whiskey. Mm. Very caramelly right there and on my palate. Anyways, all right. So now we have nine, uh, or uh, 232, which is First Raja Ghoul, which is an awesome book. That storyline, if you haven't read it, you can get it in a trade. It's it's a rad storyline. Okay, so another really good grade for, for this. Holy cow. Uh, 9.4 on this book. June of 1971. And honestly, <laughs> this is where you go with CGC. Um this book actually looks better than this book, but it has a lower grade. Uh, I'll be checking the grader notes on this to see what... Man, look at this. Uh, to see uh, what the defects are on it. But this is an, an amazing grade for this book. Holy cow. I mean, Maybe something on the inside. Well, they put grader notes online. They'll tell me, but I... I is there a little spot? Or is that just the light? Could be. Oh, there's a crease right here. That is going to be enough to drop it a bit. Um, I did have them press these. Um, because, honestly, with CGC, you always have to get them pressed. Um, and uh, it's worth it. Wow. Two huge books. Honestly, both of these. This one probably doubled in value from what i bought it for and this one honestly might have tripled in value with that grade like that's a huge grade <laughs> these are both huge grades so for those newer to collecting comic books and investing and for those that have watched me watching these other videos you mm. know i only say invest in what you can afford to lose and invest in something that you enjoy yeah. so that way if it doesn't go down in value you can enjoy it um, but for something like this Typically, what would you say from an investment standpoint, um, from the non-graded versus graded, um, what would be the, how much you're saying double, but how much are we talking roughly? So, so all right, um, it really depends on where you go. So, there's two different values that comic books essentially get used for. You get book value and market value, and sometimes they're very similar. Sometimes they're very apart. I always do book value because to me that's a real value. Market value can swing a lot. Book value will swing, but not near as much. Um, for the book value, you use like the Overstreet Price Guide is the comic book bible for all intents and purposes. Um, and so, Overstreet nine point four is considered near mint, right? And as is a nine point six for for Overstreet, these are both considered the same for all intents and purposes. And so these are both going to get max value in Overstreet. Um, they came out with a new edition, just barely. But this book, before grading, was a $1,000 book. And so now with that grade, it's probably a $2,000 book. This book, before grading, was a $500 book. Post grading, you're looking at $1,500 to $2,000 for this. Just That 9.6 is a big deal. Um, 9.4 is also a big deal, like especially for this book. Uh, so you can see, well, you can't see, but so first appearance of Raja Ghoul, trying to get that there. Origin of Batman and Robin retold um, Talia cameo. Talia is Raja Ghoul's daughter. Um, her uh, first appearance came a little bit before 232. Um, 
And so the cool thing about these old Batman books, too, is... <clears throat> so you can see here, first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face, backup Robin story. Um, they had multiple stories in them. I don't know if a lot of people don't know that. Like, Detective Comics and Batman, a lot of the time, had multiple stories. So instead of being, you know, uh, modern comics are 32 pages with about a 20-page story and 10 pages of ads or whatever. Back then, they were 50-whatever pages... Um, and there was multiple stories in them with ads still, still a lot of ads, but there was multiple stories in each. And so, um, especially in detective comics, Batman or, uh, Batman comics, not so much, but detective comics there was, but, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> these are two like phenomenal books, absolutely beautiful. Um, I am a little amazed that this one graded higher than this one, given, uh, it's very obvious flaws here but nevertheless i'll take it um because it's a big deal really nice book and is this books. something that you would do so a lot of times collectors they're gonna they're gonna get it they never sell it they never ever sell it some collectors will get it they'll grade it they'll sell it and then that way they want to buy something even more rarer um what what i you know what is your thought process and your plan for when you get something that's a higher grade than you planned on is it a keep forever and i'm not going to touch it or is it a, can I flip it to get something that's a little bit more precious? What What's kind of, or does it depend? Yeah, that's a good question. So honestly, I've never seen either of these two books in person before. Um, <clears throat> and a grade this high on this book, for both of these books, it, like, for me, <clears throat> like, they're great investment books, big time. Good investment books. Because, I mean, 50 years ago, there were 15 cents. And now, you know, like I said, around two grand for this one, maybe even two grand for this one. Um, so 30 years from now, who's to say with the way inflation's going, who's to say, you know, like that doesn't skyrocket. Although the comic book market is definitely down right now. Um, but for me, you know, if I were to flip this, <clears throat> which I don't know, maybe I'll do, maybe I won't. If I were to flip it, I would uh, go buy the same book at a lower grade. Um because I want this book in my collection. It's a book I've been looking for, actually, for a bit. So I want this book in my collection. So if I did sell it, I'd go buy another one at a lower grade. Um, and same with this. Like, the same with both of these. If I were going to, I'd go buy them. But these are great investment books, too. And so this is something that, you know, um, these will probably be going... Uh, this one, for sure, will be going in my safe. As I do have a safe for, for these... Uh, for my cooler books and this one probably will be too depending um now if any viewers want to make an offer <laughs> um if you were to sell something what would you sell it for oh if you can get them to pry it from your hands i don't know i don't know i'd have to do a little research honestly like um because you know you're talking purely market value like once you slab it like, book value doesn't change from slabbed and unslabbed. It doesn't. But market value changes substantially. And that's where it's like, book value is, is still a $1,000 book. Market value, though, if you go look up a Batman 232 CGC 9.4, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I you 1500 to 2000 bucks. I think closer to $2,000 bucks, um, would be market value for this book. And this one, I actually have no idea. So a 234... I'm guessing fifteen hundred bucks for that market value, but I just don't know. Like, so I would say those in the comment section. If you first, it'd be a good question of uh, BB had mentioned how this is the first time he'd seen these in person. I would be curious to see how many people have seen this particular these issues in person. Yeah. How many people have seen these graded, and what would you think the value is, and what would you pay for something like this? And if you did have that once in a lifetime, I've never seen this before. What would it take to get it out of your hands? Um, now, for this first episode of BB's Corner, is there anything you want to say more about these two particular um, issues before we move on to episode two? Only that uh, <laughs> these are beautiful books. Like, I'm very happy with these grades. Very happy. All right. And then, as always, please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I appreciate BB taking the time to do this. He's gonna, we're going to do a couple of videos on this, and if we get enough um, comments out there and feedback, this will be a regular occurrence. Until next time, folks, cheers.